the longer I will stay tonight at Villa, the more chance he has of getting back with Mimi. And the thing is, if he gets back with Mimi, both of them are gonna go home. So, Kieran and Nicole, and you know I'm gonna put them up here for the drama, because I think Nicole is, uh, should be studied. So week six, I'm gonna do another Love Island ranking, but this time, similar to what I did for Cast Amor predictions, I'm gonna rate them as couples, and I think going forward, until the finals, I'm gonna rank them as couples, because it might be a little bit easier. So just a reminder that the tears are my absolute fave. I'm here for the drama, indifferent, annoying, and get them out the villa. So those are the tears I'm going to stick with. First couple I'm gonna start with is our Mimi and Josh. The way I'm gonna rank Mimi and Josh is my absolute faves. Come on, listen, listen. If they sit together, great redemption story, Mimi could actually win it. But I'm not sure because the, the conversations that I or Mimi are having, what's going on there? What is I understand history is there, but I really wish Mimi can stand up, stand on business this style because she really has a chance to like one for herself be treated right and two for her to actually win the show. Like there's a possible, there's a slim chance, there's a possibility she could actually win because people love a story like that. I all messed up and Mimi wins, but the way Mimi's moving because I'm not trying to be rude, I'm not trying to be funny. I don't think I likes Mimi enough. I think it's the fact that she's with someone else now because those two days where Mimi was alone, they came back from Casa Amor. There wasn't one story. There wasn't one. Oh, I don't know. Should I go back to Mimi? It was now. Nah, I'm sticking with Jess. Sorry. Mimi but not even sorry Mimi it was like Mimi you gotta figure it out that's the energy he was given so now all of a sudden he wants to go back it's just like it's giving please stop it's giving please stop honestly they ugh, I'm just hoping I'm hoping I'm hoping but the way this love I learned after Uma leaving with Will I'm so sorry these girls need to stand up they're on TV and I just hate the fact that like people that can do this with Cassie and more now like it's okay for the men to just do a madness and everyone's just forgiving them straight away the men they haven't even done anything this season to even to even get redemption back from the girls more time there's a poem there's going to the terrace expressing their love expressing their apologies nobody has done public displays of declarations of anything so this is what i'm saying it's actually just getting a bit annoying so i'm really really hoping that they don't get back together next person i'm gonna rank is kieran and nicole so, Kieran and Nicole, and you know I'm gonna put them up here for the drama because I think Nicole is, uh, should be studied. The way Nicole acts is just, honestly, she makes me laugh. Like, she creates her own drama for no reason. Like, every single thing that Kieran does, she always has something to say. It doesn't even matter. Who needs a Loki Hill because she's causing so much drama for, like, they could have a smooth sailing thing, but she's providing unnecessary drama, which I rate. I find her funny now at this point because the things that she comes up with, like, it's like Kieran can't win, but Kieran actually genuinely seems into her, which is nice. Them two actually have a real chance of winning. Because people, they're like a classic Love Island uh, winners. Um, but yeah, I think Kieran's definitely has redemption because before when he first came in, I was like, I don't know about this man, but he stood on business. He actually likes Nicole. Nicole needs to chill out. But her overreactions are funny. Um, but yeah, their drama, there's a lot to discuss there, a lot to unpack. So I find it, I have to put them in that. The next person I am going to rank is Matilda and Sean. So where I'm going to put Sean and Matilda is indifferent. If they stayed, I don't care. If they left, I don't care. Like, I just think I'm not rooting for them really and truly. Another case of where a guy comes up from Casa Amor, doesn't really do anything, but then the girl accepts them back. I'm so sorry. All of these boys, like, they haven't done anything to, like, even just get them back. And then the way he was even trying to flip it on Matilda at one point, saying, oh, Hugo shut you down, all of this stuff. He tries to act like he's a sweet guy. Like, I'm sure he is, and he probably just was, like, acting up because he actually got attention for once. But at the same time, it was just like, no, I don't want them to win. The way they, they the, the way they showed their date, I was like, this date that they had, like, it was like a last date sort of vibe. Like, the way they positioned it, I don't know what they're trying to do. I think they're just trying to make, like, them get into the finals. Like, I can see them going all the way to the finals. Um, But... Yeah, I'm not really a fan. I I would have been if Sean didn't mess up that much because I was like, oh, Matilda, I could tell Matilda she might have liked him. And it's nice that she sees that, but no, Sean ruined it. And though he keeps telling that Mimi, he needs to stop. He needs to stop there. Um, but, but yeah, Sean, Sean's ruining the whole couple. So yeah, I'm going to put them as indifferent. Next person I'm going to rank is Joey and Jesse. So they're indifferent i don't think they do much sometimes they bicker a little bit but like it's so unnecessary in my head yeah i don't think they provide that much drama enough for me to be like oh my gosh they're, they're bringing the show like they're doing something for the show like if they left i don't think i'd even really care like, they have drama dramatic moments here and there but it's not enough for me to be like yeah like if they left i'm gonna feel it sort of thing 
I think Joey needs to watch himself because I think sometimes, I don't know, he's just like, I think he pushes boundaries. You could even see in the kissing thing, like he kind of pushes boundaries and like says things and stuff. Um, it's a bit weird. I think he is into Jesse, but I don't see them lasting that long outside the villa, no offense. But I think they have a shot at the finals, potentially, potentially, but we'll see. Next person I'm gonna rank is Ayo and Jess. Ayo and Jess can get out the villa. The longer Ayo stays in that villa, the more chance he has of getting back with Mimi. And the thing is, if he gets back with Mimi, both of them are gonna go home. So, <laughs> for Mimi's sake, I'm just hoping he leaves. And hopefully she doesn't follow him. I like Mima. You can kind of tell he's over Jess. Like, I think also, a little bit, I think he's clocking. I was clocking that the public don't like him as much because he was in the bottom. I think that's really rattled him and that's why he's trying to get back to Mimi more like with more energy now because the fact that he was in the bottom just was in the bottom he's clocking ah like public perception and that like it's not looking good bruv so now he's trying to trying to uh spin the block and i'm hoping mimi also I hope mimi clocks her and just doesn't put up with it like i'm so sorry because all of a sudden now he's like uh, but he, the, the feelings are more intense after you're in the bottom you can just tell like he's not feeling it no more i don't think he likes just as much anymore like he kind of seems over i think he likes mimi but it's just not enough it's not enough like if they actually leave them if they actually like get back together and let's say they leave i don't see that lasting that much on the outside the way i will moves you've already seen it like it's it, i don't think he's mature enough for that reason they need to get at the villa next couples you know what? i'm gonna rank these two couples together it's gonna be um what are even their names connor lolly um grace and ruben that couple those two couples just get out of the villa i don't think i even need to explain it they're the next ones to leave they clearly are just like couples of convenience i don't think that each other's matches i think it's just both of all of them are settling grace Stefford doesn't like ruben you can tell her, her speech it was enough to say this is nice for now but it's not gonna it's not gonna continue sort of thing i don't know why they put lolly in so late in the game maybe they do just yeah they kind of knew that he'd like match up with connor and they didn't want a bombshell that's gonna like scatter the whole place so they <laughs> they brought in lolly because lolly played it safe short corner let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my rankings let me know your opinions on the love island contestants make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you in my next video